Welcome to Dish It Out. I'm Tony Spatafora. Today we're all up in Jeff Parker's grill on location. That's right. We have a go-to grill guru, Jeff Parker, who's going to come in and give us some wonderful tips for your next outdoor barbecue. And, of course, the Dish It Out classic fiery recipes. We're going to give you the 411 so you don't have to call 911. So pull up those lawn chairs and tickle your pink flamingos because we're going to dish it out. How easy is this? We're back! Backyard, that is. A very generous friend of Dish It Out has lent us their yard. Maybe by lent, I mean we've commandeered it while they're in Europe, you know. <laughs> For this today's location shoot. Now, in addition to being the go-to grill guru guy, Jeff Parker also tests recipes. He um, uh, writes cookbooks and he styles food. Yeah, in this town even the food gets work done. He's basically a uh, food porn star, if you will. Meat man, let me in. <laughs> and he's here right now. Hey, hey there, how, how are, are you? you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, how are you? Good. What you got? Uh, meat delivery, got some ribeyes. Uh, beautiful tap, beautiful marbling, and we're ready to go. Let's man. do this, yeah. come on, let me show you the grill. All right, so over here's where we're gonna be working. This is awesome. I'm gonna pass this off, if I can get a dish dude. <laughs> dish dude. <laughs> Season two. All the bells and whistles. Yay, dish dude. So here's where we're going to be making the magic. This is fantastic. What, I, what do you like to look? I love these cast iron grates. This I, is my favorite thing ever. Fabulous. Um, lump charcoal. Uh -huh. um, briquettes are okay if, right. you, if you have to. Um, I don't like to use uh, lighter fluid, so I use a chimney starter. Great. And the chimney starter, um, you just kind of fill it up with charcoal, yeah. throw a little paper underneath it, Loving it. light it, set it on top of the grates. Uh -huh. It'll get all fiery and delicious. How long? Uh, 15, 20 minutes. Awesome. Um, they'll, as soon as they ash over, they're ready to go. You pour them in. I love this. And it's hot and good to cook. Oh, well then, we're right. gonna get good to cook and we're gonna get good to shrimp. Dish dude, I need some shrimp. Oh. Thanks dish dude. Like dish dude. Right? Yeah. All right. New season. So we're gonna drop these on if you want to get okay. the grill pan. Yeah, so since we're on skewers, we won't need the grill pan, so that's excellent. Try that. Nice. Much easier. All right. Makes it quicker turning. We're gonna grease this up just a little bit. Beautiful. And uh, kind of prevent the sticking. So take paper towel, uh -huh. little uh, vegetable oil. He's the go-to. And just kind of wipe it on. Oh, nice. Okay, if you wanna just start laying those down. Okay, should I drop them this yeah. way? Uh, I put them in a little 45 degree angle. 45 just, degree angle. Just because that's the way I roll. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Listen to that sizzle. That's nice. Brilliant. The best thing about shrimp is it does not take long at all. All right. So these are going to be like one, two, two minutes per side. Awesome. Now these shrimp, we pulled out of the fridge for about 15 minutes so, mm -hmm. so they can come to room temperature. We soaked right. them in lemon juice. About just for five minutes or five so. Five minutes or so to give them a little flavor. The skewers you soak for 30 minutes before you put them on the grill so that you don't have a... So they don't burn. Exactly. <laughs> so they don't ignite on the grill. Yeah. Yeah. And what's bringing this over the edge is, of course, our Dish It Out Creole seasoning. We have generously slathered Beautiful. on uh, Los Camarones. How many minutes per side, sir? Uh, two. Nice. Uh, you know, just, you know, you can see them start to turn a little opaque there on the side. Mm -hmm. And as soon as it, that opaqueness kind of moves halfway up, they're ready to flip. Because you're hotter in the center? Exactly. Right. I'm going to get a tong here just because it's that one, <laughs> didn't, that one didn't flip. Big budget. Tongs and everything. Dish tongs dudes, and tongs, everything. Tony, Jeff Parker. And here's even a good thing. Here, we got these uh, oven gloves. I love Remember them. these? My grandmother used to buy these oven gloves and send them to me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I used to think it was a big joke. Uh -huh. But they work. I mean, it's like you can actually stand your hand on the grill. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother gave me my first razor. Did she? No, oh, it's an Italian household. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hair going on. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, lovely. That does look fantastic. Good. The season very is excited. Nice. Very, very excited. What do you like to grill? Uh, I like grilling steaks, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I've been on a burger jag lately. Jag. Um, I Shrimp is always a favorite. I think yeah. my last uh, three recipes have been shrimp recipes. Ooh. I'm doing some um, lobster tails now. Oh, and I love I'm thinking about actually taking the raw lobster tail and slicing it. Uh-huh. And then just doing skewers. It would be brilliant. Or lobster, or lobster, 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 lobster,
Awesome. All right, let's plate these up. I'm gonna get a plate from a uh, dish dude. All right, thank you. Dish dude. Right on. All right, um, you wanna give the uh, mitt a try? I would absolutely I will hold your plate. Love your that. plate de poisson? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're just fishing for compliments. I, you know, I do what I do. That's nice, thanks. Oh, this is, oh, this is great. <laughs> so Literally, awesome. it is. See, it's a great. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. You had no idea what you were getting in for, did you? Oh, I love it. Awesome. This is great. These look fantastic. They smell delicious. Yeah. The Dish It Out Creole seasoning has fennel in it and it has rosemary. Mm. So that just makes really nice aromatics. That is perfect. All right. These are fantastic. Great. All right. We're going to pass this dish, dude. And we are Let's going to get our grill ready for, for steaks. Meat. meat. Steak. Meat. Beef. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor. Karma Tequila. When karma flows, good things follow. All right, so we are ready to go. We are. The grates are all oiled up. They're hot. That I can barely keep my hand over that. Phenomenal. So this is the continuation of our meeting of minds. Meeting. I guess what we need now is... The meat. Your fresh meat, boys. Nice. nice. Fellas, you're going to need a very durable tool to handle all that meat. Wow. Such big tools and... Thanks for meat. noticing. Oh, <laughs> dish dude too, sorry. So let's get grilling. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Just put these right on. I like to put things on at a 45 degree angle to the grates. Awesome. And we're going to lay them down for like two minutes. Awesome. And then we will rotate them like 10 and 2 and we'll get pretty grill marks on there. Beautiful. We've chosen ribeye because it's a fantastic steak to grill. It's got great marbling. The marbling keeps it tender, gives it good flavor. We accentuate the flavor real simple. Salt, pepper, it's nice to go. And it's also pulled out of the refrigeration for 30 minutes prior to grilling, so it comes exactly. from room temperature. Exactly, it makes for a nice, even grill. Right. And we're just gonna rotate these just 90 degrees and you'll get those nice, pretty restaurant grill marks on there. Awesome. Mmm. Excellent. Those are going to be fantastic. Awesome. So we just rotated those and that just takes a... Another couple minutes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. While we've got some time, we may as well start dessert. Perfect. Awesome. I have some wonderful fresh pineapple. What we have is skewered it. And of course, the skewers have been soaked for about 30 minutes. Perfect. And uh, we're going to glaze this with a wonderful barbecue sauce of brown sugar, uh, vanilla extract, our go-to spice, cinnamon, and of course, garma tequila. Tequila pineapple. Oh yeah. Perfect. You love, right? I do. All right, these look beautiful like they're ready to be mm. flipped. That oh. Look pretty. Restaurant quality. Prettier. Look at that. And we're gonna drop our pineapple. Beautiful. And these should all be done about the same time. Awesome. A lot of the recipes today, like the Dish It Out Creole seasoning and of course the brown sugar tequila barbecue sauce are featured on our blog at getdish.wordpress.com. We let the pineapple go for just a little bit, giving it a little mark, and we're gonna dab it with some of this delicious barbecue glaze. So in terms of like degrees of doneness, mm -hmm. does the old restaurant adage where pressing your hand, you can actually tell the yeah, temperature yeah. it's at? I, I poke my meat all the time. Shut up. Yeah, I do. Okay, so what you do is right here, uh -huh. this feels like uh, raw meat. Okay. Then put your first finger together. Yeah. We've got uh, rare. Oh, okay. Second finger, medium rare. Holy cats. Medium and medium well. I mean, really, who wants a done pasta in there anyways? Absolutely. Right? That's very impressive. Right. Well, this all looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. It really does. You are an amazing man to have on board. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. I have a great idea. Yeah. Let us get something refreshing to drink, mm -hmm. and we can have the dish dudes come in, and we can have, have them finish this up. I love your ideas. Phenomenal. Perfect. Dish dudes. Excellent. I passed the big tool. You don't know what this means to me, guys. We're trusting you. We're trusting you. Yeah. Make us proud. Two hands isn't enough. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Your work, astounding. Ah, thank you, sir. See if you can figure out what this is. Cheers. Yeah. You're very good health. Thank you. Cheers, you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Tastes familiar? Yeah, watermelon agua fresca. Exactly. Excellent. The Delicious. picante recipe yeah. from jeffparkercooks.com. Made with our Margie mix, featured on getdish.wordpress.com. <laughs> and of course, accentuated over the top by Karma Tequila. Perfect. Mmm. Mm. It's like a karma party in my mouth. <laughs> you get what you deserve. <laughs> karma. What are you up to? 
Oh, what am I up to? I am writing cookbooks right now. Fabulous. I've got a big book that um, I'm in the middle of. Uh -huh. um, I've got a couple TV shows coming up that I'm actually culinary producing, not being on. Right. And um, that's kind of it. That's great. I'm just busy grilling, grilling. And you were um, food styling for Sandra D's cookbook, Sandra, Lee. uh -huh. Sandra Lee's cookbook, uh -huh. and, and Mario Lopez's cookbook. Mario Lopez, and actually, I just did a job a few months ago with uh, Florence Henderson. Was the uh, oh, she had um, yeah, she, uh, it was on a retire retirement. Something, yeah, yeah something, yeah. Right. Anyways, anyways, but she had a different guest on each episode, and one of the guests was Peter Brady, and so I got a picture with the two of them. I was like, I'm a Brady. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now, you and Sandra Lee have a good history, right? We do. We do, yeah. We worked together for five or six years. Awesome. Um, we did, I think, 20-something cookbooks together, uh, and... <laughs> I hear she's super sweet. She is. She is. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, and the first lady of New York. Really? <laughs> Uh, she gave you. I remember reading something about your first TV guide cover with her. Yeah, it was actually I was hired. It was my first actually styling job. I was uh -huh. hired as a, a food styling assistant, and um, we shot at the Hotel Bel Air, Ooh. and it was a big, huge wedding thing. And um, she and the food stylist were not getting along, and so I ended up being kind of the intermediary between the two. And so uh -huh. I studied, and I'd actually decorated a lot of cakes before, and That's so I. Um, did the wedding cakes for the cover TV guide. Wow. Yeah. Well, I bet you're hungry. I am hungry. I know. I come hungry. So why don't we get this party started, all right? Perfect. Dish dudes? Dish dudes. Mm, look at this. Look at that. Pretty. Ah, oh, our beautiful restaurant that quality ribeyes. Gorgeous. Our blackened shrimp. Ah. Oh. And then we've got the grilled pineapple with the brown sugar tequila barbecue uh, sauce. This is wonderful. This is actually a friend of mine's recipe, Naomi. She's going to be a guest on our show oh, this right season. On. It's a wonderful tomatillo salsa with radish. We featured on our blog, getdish.wordpress.com. I love tomatillos. Chimichurri. Chimichurri. I, I know you like that. Yeah, wonderful combination. Favorite. Herbs, garlic, little red wine vinegar. Also, the recipe featured on our blog. Here. All right. Shrimp. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Pineapple. All right, let's give this a try and see how we do. How oh, is it? Yeah, it's really nice. Okay. Mm. This looks fantastic. The chimichurri. Yeah. Mm. It's like being in Argentina. Ah. Mm. Maybe next season. So amazing. <laughs> nice and simple. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper only. Mm -hmm. Great, good quality meat. Mm. Can't go wrong. Awesome. Yeah. I have too much meat in my mouth. Right <laughs> <now>. TV bites. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. This has been a delight. It has been awesome. Thank Will you, you come back and see us again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeff Parker. Why don't you tell everybody where they can find you? Okay. you can find me at jeffparkercooks.com. Um, you can find me at grillingoutdoorrecipes.com. And on Instagram, JP Cooks. And what's the other one? Twitter, Twitter, JP Cooks. That's awesome. And of course, we're at Get Dish on Twitter. You can like our Facebook page. You can come by Pinterest. You can go by Instagram, dish underscore it underscore out. You can just find us in so many different ways, but are, especially, yeah, we are. Uh, come to the YouTube and subscribe to our new YouTube channel, Dish underscore, I'm sorry, Dish It Out TV, all one word. We love it when you leave comments. I'm Tony Spadafora. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Um, pantry raid. I only came here for a dance party. Oh. I don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, because of the location shoot, we don't exactly have a pantry. So we had the introduction of your really. Do you really... want me back? <laughs>